welcome back to the channel. It's your favorite South Florida real estate expert here, and I'm showing you another beautiful home in Boca Raton. This home features six bedrooms, 10 bathrooms. It's got just under 12,000 square feet, sitting on just over 31,100 square foot lot. And they're asking, Eric, how much do you think? If you had to guess. Uh, 10 million. They're actually asking $7,950,000. And now before we get started, I just wanna say thank you to Veronica with Premier Estate Properties. She's incredible and she has actually listed a few homes in this community and she's allowed us to do this tour today. So on that note, why don't I take you inside and show you around? And as we walk up, you have this roundabout driveway on a private cul-de-sac. You have four car garage. This was built by GL Homes. It's actually the biggest model in all of Boca Bridges. It's the Vanderbilt model. And here we are coming in, looking up at these 28 foot high ceilings. And this window is 26 feet high. So there's already a lot to see and we haven't even stepped inside. Follow me. So as soon as I step inside, you have a view of just the lake, your pool, it's beautiful. And then you have these porcelain tiles, super large. It's amazing, it takes you right into your formal sitting room. Look at this. The cool thing is if you like what you see, you can actually purchase this for an additional 170. You can get everything you see here, it's really nicely done. And even the ceilings has this like accent lighting coming in and out. I wanna take you to one of my favorite parts right off the bat. I'm not saving my surprises for later, like Santa Claus, all right? We're not waiting for December, we're doing it right now. Follow me. Come a little bit over here. Eric, you gotta get a little jog in. So behind these double doors is an entertainer's paradise. I don't even wanna say man cave because I think women can enjoy this too. Let's say a day cave. Why not? As you step inside, look at this. You have the pool table with a view of the pool. There's two pools within 30 seconds. You got the pool sticks over there, TV on the wall. So while you're playing a game, Jason Matus luxury home tour videos are just entertaining your friends. Everyone's like, dude, this is so much fun. Of course, and you know what? To get the spirit of the game going, a bar. You have three inch thick granite countertops that waterfall down to the porcelain floors. So much stone. It's amazing. You have everything you need down below, cabinetry. Look at the drink cooler, how well organized. This is the kind of people that you wanna buy a house from. Someone who has their stuff like this, you know? Storage above, glasses, the bottles, everything. And once you make that drink, everyone's yelling, having a good time. This is where you go, this is where you shimmy the party. You come into here and you play some poker or some ice hockey. Two very random, sources of entertainment, but both equally fun, you know? Play some friendly games over here. Then over here, you have a little bit of ice hockey. So you come, game's on, start it up. Oh, I don't have one of these in my home, so I don't know how it works, but you can get the idea. Oh, let's try this. Just like that. What an entertaining space. Let's actually come out down over here. We now have the sitting room off of where the game room was. So you can sit, lounge, maybe throw up another TV over here if you wanna watch a movie. This could be like your own private little movie room. Access outside so people can come in from the pool, they can come back over here and enjoy themselves. And then you have bath over here. This could also be used as a cabana bath. This is one of your two half bathrooms. Guests don't have to go throughout the entire house. You close those doors. This is all you need. You have food, drink, games, bathroom, pool. Wait, 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 Eric, no need to back up. You thought it was over. Just like the rest of you guys, follow me into here, this separate space. There's something pretty incredible in here. How would you like to play racquetball inside your home? You have a private racquetball court, 12 100 square feet of pure fun sitting in your home. This is incredible. I mean, let's step inside real quick. Why not? <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. You, and the cool thing is like, I know there's an NBA player watching somewhere. Let's remove this court. We don't need this and just put a net. You know what? Forget basketball. Maybe you're a volleyball player. Raise the net. It's all inclusive in here. It's all inclusive. That's all I'm gonna say. Let's actually head back though 
I want to cut down, finish up this side of the house, and then take you back by the living room and the kitchen. Follow me. I'm sad that we had to leave. That was so much fun. I just went to Boomers for a quick second, and now we're back into the tour. So follow me down over here. This is the last side of the wing I just want to show you. You even have, click a button, elevator and they upgraded it themselves you have this wood finish going around some lighting it's an elevator you don't have one in your home maybe you do but if you don't this is incredible let me close this up and then down over here on my left you have a guest bedroom this is the only guest bedroom on the first floor which is great because if you have somebody that needs to be on the first floor they have that it has its own ensuite everything you need and then behind me you have a two-car garage with tesla charging ports That's it for that side. So let's cross back over towards the kitchen now. And remember when I mentioned the living room that the ceiling was really cool? Check it out in here. You have like the tri-layered ceiling as well down over here. Thank you, Eric. Thank you for getting that. It's really cool. And so we'll take this hallway down over here and it takes us right into the breakfast room. I love the fixtures in this home. So while you're sitting over here, not only do you have a corner view, you have art suspended over your head. Amazing. And then we'll do like a quick turn over here and take a look at the kitchen. So here we have the same that you saw in the entertaining room. You have this granite water falling three inch thick countertop. We have your Viking stove with eight burners, which is pretty uncommon. Normally you see like the six burners. Basically you can cook steak, fish, chicken, pasta, vegetables, potato. I can't even think of enough things to put on here at once. And then your vent is hidden behind the cabinetry. And speaking of this cabinetry, you have custom cabinets, and it's the same cabinets that you see in the Porsche design tower. It's like the Ferrari, give a push, they open up, and then just to close, click a button. Rarely have I ever seen that in a home. It's cool to see it here. It just brings the whole like modernness of the home together. You have your Sub-Zero professional grade fridge, the Wolf ovens you have just sitting over here. And you have two dishwashers, ice maker, you have everything that anybody is going to ever need in a kitchen and then a nice view of your private side yard, which is cool because like I said, you have 31,000 square feet of yard space and you can really see it here. There's no neighbors. There's no neighbors on that side. And then down over here, you have a huge pantry, massive. Dude, it's like a wall of snacks in Wonderland. There's cookies on my right. It's gonna be hard not to eat one of those but I'm on camera, so I have to abide by the laws. And then down across from that side, you do have your dining room. So when you walk from the pantry, this is your private secluded formal dining. Check out that light fixture above. It almost looks like a skyline, like the reflection of a skyline, like maybe New York and Miami. I mean, is that what they're going for with the art, you think? Maybe, but you can sit here with 10 of your favorite people, I love all the furnishings around it. If I were you, I would go ahead and jump for the furniture package because this is exactly how you want your home to look. And just like in the entertaining side of the house, you have another bar over here at that copper sink with the wine cooler below, storage, the same three inch thick granite, and look at all of this. Let's come back down this hallway one more time, a little deja vu. This is your TV family room. So yeah, you have the entertaining side, but this is where you and the kids or you and your Mr. or Mrs. are gonna sit down, lounge, watch some more. Jason too, so luxury home tours because you're obsessed and you can't stop watching my videos. This is where you're gonna do it. And then down over there, you have a cabana bath. You know what? On that note, why don't I take you outside and show you some of the features that we have out here? Follow me. Here we are. So much peace and privacy in a gated community in Boca, very uncommon. And check this out, outdoor dining. If you watch any of my videos, you know this is my favorite place to be. I would wake up every morning and sit here and discuss things with my family. I'm a happy-go-lucky guy. This is where I like to be. Summer's kitchen over here, the alfresco kitchen. It's got all the fixings that you're gonna need. And then when you look out, you're just pool, yard, water on the lake, magnificent. There's even a sitting area just down over here spending time with your friends and family another spot to do it you know you have an amazing outdoor sitting area have the dogs up here chatting nice cold night when i say cold i mean like 70 degrees it's a little chilly right now i'm a little cold whatever and then take a look at this pool 
Why don't you just turn the camera so you can see it? 40 feet long, 20 feet wide. No, I'm not describing a driveway. This is your pool. It's incredible. A couple of places to lounge out here. This is where the massive 1200 square foot court was. That's where it was sitting. And then I want to take you down to the end over here. The size of this yard, you have a roaring jacuzzi. Is this Rapids Water Park over here? Insanity. And then just look, Eric, I'm gonna step in the grass. They have three chihuahuas, but their poop can only be like this big. So let me just show you it to you real quick. Look at that. Huge, the gate goes all the way down to the end and you have water on that side. There's a bunch of landscape. The only homes you can see from right here are like the neighbors across the water. This has gotta be, the, this is definitely the nicest lot I've seen in Boca Bridges. And on that note, let me turn around so you can see it. I wanna take you upstairs so I can show you the bedrooms. I wanna show you, you haven't even seen the main suite. We've only seen one guest bedroom. This tour has just begun. So strap in, get your popcorn, sip your little, your little, your little drink and follow me upstairs. And while we're up here, can we just admire something really quick? Look at that chandelier. That is unbelievable. I just want to stand here and look at it all day. I don't want to finish the tour. Turn it off. Just turn it on. I'm just kidding. Let's continue on. So now we're going to take a look at some guest bedrooms. We're going to start down with this hallway over here. On my left, this is a guest bedroom, but it's been converted into almost like a movie room. You have five brand new reclining chairs, TV on the wall, closet, ensuite. As we make our way a little bit further down, on my left, you have a laundry room. This is upstairs laundry because you had one downstairs right by the garage, the second garage. So you have one up here, it has a fridge. So if you live up here, you just pop in and out for soda real quick. I'm gonna go in this laundry room more than I go into any laundry room in the world. Elevator on my left, same situation. Click the call button, it pops up right here. This is where it comes out, so it's perfect for the guests. And then just walked myself into a room. This is the guest room at the end of the hall. And look at the size of it. So besides the bed, and the private balcony that you have, you have even a sitting area. Perfect for how they have it set up. Computer, gaming chair. You know, this is like a mini living room. And then over there, closet and a full ensuite. So this room is decked out and we have an exact replica of this room on the other side, but it's got a view. Let me show you. So like I said, you get the same room. You get the little sitting area in the back, but the view you have is of the pool, the water, privacy. It's a great space. And then your ensuite and closet are down there. Enough with the guest bedrooms for now. Let me show you a pretty cool feature that I think a lot of people are gonna use in this house. It's the upstairs loft. Follow me. Behind the frosted glass. This thing is really cool. Once you close the doors, it's total privacy but you have all of this natural light coming in from this huge window overlooking your pool and lake. This is all you need. And of course, in every room, just like this one, you have the blackout shades that wind down with the click of a remote. It's got some TV on, Real Housewives, NCIS, the good stuff. Everything everyone needs. And so from here, I wanna take you to the main suite. Behind these double doors, every time you see double doors, you know something is about to happen. So right off the bat, besides all the space I'm seeing, Wet bar filled with some Dr. Pepper, some drinks, a sink, everything you're gonna need. Put a little coffee station here. You're waking up in paradise. And on my left, we're gonna have closet and bathroom. Now this could be his and hers, but right now it's kind of like laid out to be just hers. Look at the space you have in here. Boom, single sink. The mirror tells you the time. I needed to know that, so I'm glad I saw that. And then soak in tub view of the water, but you have a crazy angle. Now it's like the angle where you can see the ripples and the, and the, the sunset potentially. Even the vanity, Eric, look at this. The vanity is its own station. You're telling me your girl wouldn't love this? I know mine would. And then you have a walk-in shower over here. And this thing is like a walk-in apartment shower. Look at the size of this thing. Incredible. So much space. And this is just for one person, technically. And then on the, on the left, private water closet hidden behind a door keep everything locked up. And then the last thing I need to mention in here, look up if you can, I don't know if you can angle it that high. Look at that light fixture. It's like a wedding ring that somebody would die for. It's a nice one. But now to the closet, across the way, we have a walk-in closet. And now you're thinking this is kind of small, Jason. It actually curves around a little bit. So now it's a little bit bigger, much better. 
wraps all the way around. And like I said, this is just her side. Let me show you his. Behind another set of double doors, his shower. So he has, he has the walk-in, he's got his own water closet, sink, and then he's got his own closet, closet. Boom. More than enough space. I did, at this point, like I would just put things in here that don't belong in closets. I'd put like a, like a tree, I'd put plants. You know what I mean? Go to Ace Hardware, get some plants. I, I couldn't even use this much space personally. And then now I'm gonna show you the bedroom. King size bed, a bigger version of that light fixture that I love so much right over here. And then this is like the main suite's little living room. And the cool thing is, the thing I love the most is that when you stand right here, you can see the winding of the water in the neighborhood. It's so cool. Like, I don't know if you can see it on camera. I'll put a scene if you can't. And it even has its own private balcony. So when I pop this open, it fit through there. We have a huge balcony. It's got a sectional out here. All you can hear is the sound of the waterfall from down below, a couple places to sit, and then the private view. So on that note, I just wanna say thank you so much for coming on this tour with Eric and I. I had a great time. I think you did too. If you did, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you the next one. I hope you have a great day. I love you, I care about you, care about you more than any other YouTuber cares about their audience. That's a fact, and I'll see you at the next one. Have a great day.